Hello everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Murder by Numbers, and joining us is Dork Princess. Hi, Scout's baby. Scout is baby. I love him. He looks like when... a little rabbit tail. I mean, I know it's like an engine thing, but sorry, continue. When last we left off, we were attempting to get out of the break room, so we could prove our innocence even though breaking out would probably doom us more than anything, if you think about it logically. <laughs> anyway. So now with the more detailed scan, we can investigate. Investigating brings us into this funky scanning mode here, where it green washes the area. His smile is even cuter now that I have an, emo an emotional attachment to him. And basically, we look around until we find things. Ah, it's like Zing and Rampa, I think. A little bit, yeah. And yes, as you guessed, the vent actually does pop up. Oh my god! Yes! Thing yes! Here. Ah! And now we've got to solve the vent, which, just to... I mean, I could walk you through here. Oh, look, there's eight. So if you get them, five, six, seven, eight. So, five, you know, all these... You know in, these like, have to the be places. solved, etc, etc, etc. But... Let's, let's kind of, uh, let's kind of do, no, that sounds right. Look at him go. And, uh, eh. You know, you're, you're the cheat sheet, I... Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I've solved all these before, so... I do not yeah. see the point to uh, torturing myself by spending 15, 20 minutes per puzzle here. Yeah. And no offense, but I don't have all night. <laughs> yeah. I think I've located another way out. Could you verify that it's not another door? It's an air vent. That might actually work. I suggested this! I called it! Or at least it works in the movies. The only problem is it's sealed up with a metal cover. You don't have to have a crowbar, do you? I don't think I have that feature. Worth a try. The cover seems to be held in place by four metal screws. It can probably be removed for access. Okay, so we need a screwdriver. I'm guessing you don't have one of those either? No. I'll be sure to bring it up with my creator if I ever find them. Um, what do you think you're doing? And what is that thing supposed to be? I am Scout. Honor, are you really that desperate for friends? I always knew you were weird, but I didn't think it was this bad. Please help me. I didn't kill Blake, and I'm gonna prove it. <laughs> A piece of junk like that's gonna help. Looks like you took an old Betamax player out of the trash. What's Betamax? I'm fine. <laughs> Betamax was. Basically, they had two video cartridge formats back in the 80s. You had VHS and you had Betamax. Betamax did not win the war, and VHS became the primary media form for home use. Ah. Actually, I didn't meet Honor until after I left the scrap heap. Hello, around here. Ugh, what's taking the detective so long? Thanks for when his age was down you. One side group. Scout found an air that leads out of the room. We're gonna get out there and prove I'm innocent. What? No way! I am not letting you sneak out while I'm stuck in here! What are you gonna do? Tie me to a chair? She like pulls out a rope. If you so much as touch the air vents, I'm telling Detective Cross. 
get fired, like guys, and then you try and escape? Don't look so innocent to me. Well, if you were wrongly imprisoned, wouldn't you run? What if she's right? Escaping this room may not be the best option. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, Scout. We have to move fast. The longer we wait, the more time the killer has to cover their tracks. How do you know that? I've picked up a thing or two over the years. Murder mysteries are always my favorite kind of story. I just never expected to be in one. I mean, you just got fired from a murder mystery, so... <laughs> yeah, she didn't expect to be in a real life one. Yeah, yeah, fair. But before we can get out of here, we have to find some way to distract Becky. Unfortunately, Scout cannot do that dance. Oh, with that attitude. This one, so as I fill this in, see if you can figure out what it might be. And I'm going to tell you, you probably can't because this is a weird one. I was gonna guess if you're talking about a chair, it's gonna be like the second germ on the floor. <laughs> Some sort of microchip thing. Car. Another tampon. You know. No, it's 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 a uh, Miss Terry toy, a doll. Oh. Yeah, that that one's kind of hard to tell what the hell it's supposed to be. I saw nothing like that on the floor. I know. Well, you wouldn't see. It wasn't actually there on the floor in the in the uh, artwork. Yeah. So I'm. I. It's about to just leave, I guess. What's this toy doing here? Hey, be careful with that! Don't you realize what you're holding? A really weird puppet. Oh, it's a Miss Terry figurine! And a rare one, too, if I'm not mistaken! Oh, I thought it was familiar. I didn't recognize Becky without a scowl on her face. <laughs> How come it's so valuable? Well, since you're interested, this particular figurine has a small but hilarious mistake! Take a look at the face. Do you notice anything? Aside from the strong urge to pull Becky's head off, no, the eyes are the wrong color. Isn't that funny? Like, how do you get the eyes the wrong color on Miss Terry? <laughs> I only make made... fun, but mm -hmm. a lot of this is my life. I, I collect dolls, and I like to notice when, like, the eye prints a little off center. They only made 200 before they noticed the problem, so they're very rare. I wonder how it got here. I actually got another one just like it right here in my bed. In in my wait, is that mine? You took it out of my bag, you thief! A thief? It was just lying here on the floor. I mean, no, it wasn't. But <clears throat> on the floor, but it's worth hundreds of dollars. There are people out there that we killed on this. Calm down. It's just a piece of plastic. Just that piece of plastic. Oh my god. Come on, John. Remember what Dr. Fryerstein taught you. I'm sorry if I shouted. I just can't seem to stand to see Price's collectibles being abused, especially when they belong to me. Sorry, John. I really didn't know it was yours. You should probably take it back before I get any ideas about shoving plastic Becky here into the garbage disposal. No, no. Dr. Fryerstein learned, says I have to learn to share. Besides, you are Detective Oates, after all. If I can't trust you, who can I trust? <laughs> you, uh, you were kidding about the garbage disposal thing, right? <laughs> I 
I mean, no, but I wouldn't actually do it. Yeah, yeah you never know. Let's see here. <laughs> oh, the ways I can take my torches. Over here by the microwave. Is this another tampon? No. <laughs> oh! The, we found a screwdriver. Oh. I thought it was like a, a thumbtack. I know, it was by the microwave, so... Honor, I found something. My ontological database indicated to some kind of tool, but all further data is damaged or missing. It's a screwdriver, Scout. This is just what we needed. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tully, wasn't it? I'm guessing this is yours? Huh? What makes you think that? Well, because, I mean, you're a handyman, so... Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, do you mind if I borrow this? Mind? Why would I mind? I'll ah! leave you a tool any time you like. I thought I, like, leave it for a kiss. He kinda did. Oh! Maybe after we get out of here, you and me could go grab a coffee? I don't like this guy anymore. Scout! If you got a cowboy pack, but now's the time. Well, you know where I'll be if you change your mind. I don't ship him with Casey anymore. <laughs> that's, yeah, no, that's, that's right here somewhere. Go ahead. I can share. Except I only have one, and I think it's a little too inappropriate. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Just, I was in, like, middle school, and, like, some kid, some kid, like, just shows something to me, and I'm not sure if I should share it, because it's a little too... I don't know. He found an what? apple with a bite taken out of it. And the bonus puzzle it brings up there is on the main menu for a side quest where you can kind of learn more about Scout's history. Oh. That would be fun. Do you that's, think that's, this could be useful to the investigation? I'll be honest, it seems unlikely that an apple is the smoking gun. I mean, have you, if you've seen that one Muppet skit. A gun? Be careful, Honor. Guns are dangerous. I love him! No, Scout, it's it's just a turn of phrase. It means the murder weapon, or a vital clue. I, I keep saying I, I keep seeing Scout in all caps and I'm I'm like I I'm tempted to shout it. <laughs> oh. It's very confusing when humans say uh, things that mean other things. I'm sure you'll catch on. Catch on to what? That was another one, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, there Oh, look, it's just checking out. There was, like, this one Muppet skit where, like, it was, like, the Old West, and, like, Fozzie was playing, like, the, the, the evil outlaw dude, and he, like, and, he, and he's like, alright, this is a stick-up, pulls out, uh, like, a pickle or a cucumber or whatever, turns out it's a gun, yep. everyone, like, was laughing at him, but it was a gun, and then he pulls out an apple, and the fuse is lit! Yep. The fuse is lit! He, like, throws it aside! <laughs> Uh, what do you want? So let's just go in order here. Alright. 
So, how are you holding up? I'll be okay. No thanks to that idiot detective. I can't believe he's locked us in here without any protection. What if the killer tries to finish off the rest of us? You don't think they'd be trying to lay low? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like maybe the, 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 the detective might have been murdered. Mm. And that's why he's taking so long. What should I know? I'm not a murderer! Maybe not. On the other hand... What, that contract thing? Don't be stupid, Honor. That's just business. I'm not a suspect. I, I'm a victim of circumstance. Sounds like you don't think much you've got to cross. I'm so old! I thought real detectives were supposed to be cool and serious. Only thing was serious about him is why he hasn't been retired yet. Bitch. <laughs> Were you really fighting with Blake about your contract? I do not want to talk about it. But can you believe these people? I'm their biggest star and they can't even find a few thousand dollars for promotion. Damn, it's like they want the sh- it just oh, automatically it... fast forwarded that text. Much like it does much other text around here. Okay. What are you smiling about? Nothing, it's just. I thought you didn't want to talk about it. But yeah, it does that. It's done that many times. It's meant to say that a character's hurrying through speech and they get interrupted. That, that's just a little too fast, honestly. Yeah. I, I thought that was you just, like, clicking, like, fast enough to, to, like, imply that someone was getting broken off. If you really want to get out of here, you should let me go. The sooner I can prove them innocent, the sooner Detective Frost can concentrate on finding the real thing. No way. I have to be second here than three years. You're just mad because you're gonna miss your stupid party. John, it's the social event of the season, and I'm supposed to be there in three hours! I'll get out of here soon. Everyone will be drunk by the time I get there. You won't even notice me arriving! I'm more and more worried about getting to a party on time than about like, Do we care at all? Of course I care! It's tragic! But this isn't just any party, it's a Missy McCree party! Do you know how hard it is to get on her guest list? I've been trying for months! Not that you'd understand. You always got invited to these parties with your husband. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Ex husband. Maybe now you're divorced and you'll finally see what it's like for people like me. You know, people who got where they are through hard work, not by marrying some rich guy. I audition like everybody else. Oh, sure. And who got you the audition in the first place? I still don't understand why you divorced him. If I had a guy who got me into Missy McCree parties, I'd never get him. I've heard terrible things about this man. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it feel to finally meet our biggest fan? Who, John? <laughs> He's so pathetic. Heck, he's trying to talk to me about poetry or some crap. As if I want to hear real po poetry at a time like this. I'm missing a Missy McCree party! <laughs> I think your biggest fan would know you aren't interested in art. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, wait, was that Honor's line just then? Yeah. Bruh. Oh, I'm stupid. Cause like, Seki's theme was the first, first like, bit of content I got from this game. So I keep thinking Honor is Becky. <laughs> Honor is not a real person name as far as I know. Oh, it is. Well then, I apologize to anyone named Honor in the audience. <laughs> oh, like your Honor? 
Is that the, the etymology here? Maybe. Mm. I am into art, but fiction is the art of the 90s, honor. Dang it, I wanted to say your honor. And John is anything but fashionable. Fanny Pack is over his crotch. His crotch honor. That's not much of a fanny pack. Let's show her the tampon. <laughs> well, oh my god! Are you tracking my second? What are you on her? <laughs> Please tell me we can show a tampon to everybody. In this case, anyway, I think. <laughs> we have to show it to everybody. Yes, we do. You know. <laughs> You know, you're more than welcome to escape with us through the air vent, if you want. Me? Crawl into an air vent? <laughs> you must be kidding. You'll be full of spiders and... and rats! And imposters? <laughs> I, ha I had to throw the Among Us reference in there, I had to. Hmm, I guess you're right. There might even be rat-sized spiders. Oh my god, is that a real thing?! There are several species of spider comparable in size to the average rat. Would you like to know more? Yeah, get away from me! <laughs> so you definitely don't want to come with us? Over my dead body. That could be arranged. This is a murder scene. Oh, great, even more crappy merchandise. Is that actually from the Mushroom Band episode? Nope, it's from the one with the alien bug cult. Ugh, I hated that episode. You know what took Casey three hours to get all that green gunk out of my hair? Ah! Excuse me, Miss Call. I couldn't help overhearing and I have to politely disagree. It wasn't just gunk, it was insect mucus. And it wasn't green, it was gray. I've seen it on VHS about a hundred times. I don't care what color it was, that crap was in my hair. But those details are very important. Without a consistent world, the show would fall apart at the seams. Oh, please. It's all made up anyway. As long as I'm there, people will keep watching. But the real fans value internal logic! You gotta construct a rich and consistent canon to build long-term viewership! What the hell does canon gotta do with anything? Ugh, I can't believe you're so ignorant! This is exactly what caused the show to go downhill last season! You ought to be ashamed of what you've done! Downhill? Are you crazy? I've never looked better! Also, PSA, it's not... Oh, he can say it for me. This isn't about you! <laughs> now I know you're crazy. I just want to say, real quick, it's not the it's not the actor's fault whatever gets written. They just have to do what they're told. Yep. She and didn't on write that it. note, it's time to call the video. Yay! Good. We have managed to successfully distract... Becky. Yay! Oh yeah, that's what we were doing. I yep. got distracted. Yep. <laughs> so, when we come back, we might actually be able to escape through that vent. Nice. So until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.